Hi, morning, Assalamu alaikum. Um, today's pop talk, uh, power of thought talk is about when is the best time to talk to someone? Um, and when I mean someone, I mean somebody that we are annoyed with or upset with, um, uh, angry with. Because uh, I had a client yesterday and she contacted me and she was really, really angry and upset with her business partner. And uh, she phoned me up and um, said, you know, I'm just in such a state, I need to have some clarity. And that got me thinking because we tend to, when we're really mad and upset, we tend to want to go and deal with that person there and then and, you know, let them know and give them a piece of our mind. But actually, that's the worst time to do it. Why? Because we're not in a good, clear headspace. And she had enough understanding to say that I just need some clarity. Um, and so we talked and uh, actually she talked, I listened. And then afterwards, it was really interesting because whilst we were on the call, uh, it was a Zoom call, uh, whilst we were on the call, I noticed her breathing slow down and her shoulders just go down. And I could see that she was in a new space, in a different space in front of that, instead of all that uh, space, she was like much calmer. And that good headspace was the perfect place from where she could um, come up with uh, options and ideas of how to deal with this situation that she was really angry and unhappy about. And so when is the best time to deal with someone we're really frazzled and annoyed about is when we have clear headspace, not at the time when we're, Ugh. so um, what's the takeaway to do for, for today is just either remind yourself of when you were really annoyed and what came out of your mouth or what did you do? And next time, think about when you are in that uh, state, just take time out, move away from it, take time out and then deal with it. So often uh, another example is like, you know, we might get a text message from someone and um, I've, I've done this before. I've, I've received a text message or a WhatsApp message from somebody and I'd be like, ah, oh, help, and really felt annoyed. And then I've started typing and then I've taken a breath. And guess what I do? I delete it. Sometimes I, I uh, cut the message and paste it <laughs> in case I want to send it when I'm calmer. And more often than not, I tend to change the message. And what comes out of our mouth is going to be more easily received by the person that we want to um, impact or want to uh, convey our annoyance to. So I look forward to your comments and um, see you next time. Bye. Assalamu alaikum.